One of the fun things about working with video in Photoshop is that you can access all of the Photoshop features, including clipping masks, specifically text clipping masks. Now, even some experienced Photoshop users don't know what a clipping mask is, so I'm going to explain that in this lesson. But if you know what it is, just imagine video running inside a clipping mask. It's really cool. So to follow along, open up Photoshop. All right, make sure you're inside the Motion workspace, and now let's add a video clip. I'm going to click on the little plus over here. I want to go track down the time lapse 2 inside the Digital Juice stock footage folder inside our Working Files folder. So just double click on that. That brings that in. There you go. I want to add text to this, and then I'm going to clip the text to the video file. Now, you don't have to add text in a layer above this in this particular case. It may seem counterintuitive, but it will work. So, all I need to do now is just add some text. So, if you click here to add text, then that will move the playhead to the end of the video file and to the beginning of the new text layer that you're about to make. I'm going to use a real thick font here, Black Oak Standard, because I like the fact that thick fonts work well with clipping masks. So I'm going to type in something like our good buddy Matterhorn again, like so, and press Enter to accept that. I want to make it a little bit larger, though, so I'm going to go Control or Command T, and we'll transform this little guy and just really beef it up a bit here, like so. I like working with really thick text when I'm working with a clipping mask, so I can show as much of the layer underneath it as possible. And I think that'll work, so I'm going to accept that by pressing the Enter key in my numeric keypad. I've got the text layer here, and I've got the video layer here. And now I need to flip their order, so I need to put the video clip on top of the text like that. And now I want to clip them together. So I put my cursor between the two layers, hold on the Alt to the Option key, and I get that little symbol with the arrow pointing down. I click there, and now we've created a clipping mask. Really cool. The clipping mask now is five seconds long because that's the default length of text that's added to a video file. Or in fact, the video file was originally longer than that. We don't need to worry about the exact length at the moment because I'm going to add another layer here in just a second. In any event, though, let's just take a look at this video playing inside there. Is that not great to see video playing inside a clipping mask? I think that's so cool. To make it even more effective, I want to add the original layer below it and then add a couple of effects to this. Now, I mentioned I was going to deal with layer styles a little bit later in the course, but this just screams out for layer style here, so I'm going to show you a quick little trick to do that. So let's add another layer group here by just clicking here and clicking on a new video group like that. I want to take my Matterhorn text and put it above this one. So I'm going to take my Matterhorn text here and drag it above this new video group. Now I'm going to add a file to this video group. So click on its plus sign and add the exact clip we had before. So now you can't see the text anymore because they're exactly the same, but I'm going to make the text on this clipping mask show through by adding a couple of layer styles to it. First of all, I'm going to drag it for the proper length of the clip so they do match now. I'm going to go over to the text here and just double click here to open up the layer styles panel. Let's give it a little bit of a bevel. That'll show it up right away. There we go. Give it a little bit of a drop shadow like that. Maybe give it a little color overlay. It's going to look awful for a second here, but we'll fix that in a second. We'll go. Make it, let's say, blue instead of that horrible red. And let's give it a little bit of a blending mode besides normal. Let's make it, don't say, darken, for example, perhaps, or multiply. Maybe drop the opacity a touch there so it's not quite so harsh. There we go. So now, look how cool that is. We've got this clipping mask going here. And we've got the video playing underneath it. Yet the video also plays inside the clipping mask. And if you want to change the position of the text, you can just go switch over to this little move tool with the text around, and you see that you're not moving the layer around, you're moving the text on top of the layer, so you can decide what will appear inside the text like that. So there you go. That's how you use a text clipping mask here with video.